Hi guys, so today we're reading the before last artist of this book. Um, his name is Paul Signac. Um, so this is a portrait of him. Here. And this is his name, Paul Signac. Let's start reading about him. Born on November 11th, 1863 in Paris, died in August 15th, 1935 in Paris. Paul Signac was married and had a daughter. He lived in the south of France in, in Paris. Paul Signac. Paul first wanted to become an architect, but then he saw paintings by Claude Monet at the gallery and changed his mind altogether. That's when he decided to become a painter. Signac learned to paint autodidactly. That is, he taught himself how to do it. At all times, Monet was his great inspiration, but there was a mirror difference. Signac wanted to, to his paintings look more ordinary than those of his role model. For Paul, Monet's pictures sometimes appeared too messy and unclear. He preferred to make paintings where all the element, house, people, objects, and so on, were more neatly arranged, just like painters had done in the earlier times. Paul, in 1884, Paul got to know Gorsura. Whoa, that's an interesting fact. He soon adopted Sura's method of making pictures with tiny dots paint, of paint. However, Gorks dots were too small for Paul. He simply made them a bit bigger. Sura's modern style relied on new kinds of paint brushes, which were much flatter and softer than traditional paint brushes. With just a small stroke of his brush, he could place each dot of the paint perfectly on canvas. Paul Signac, Portrait of M. Felix Fion, 1890, Museum of Modern Art, New York. Felix Fion was a journalist, art dealer, and critic. He coined the expression Nail Impressionism for painting the style of Signac and Sura. Um, so this is the picture I just now told you, and I really like this picture. And especially if you look closer, look, if you look closer, you can actually see the big dots that he painted. When making his politist art, Signac would often begin by drawing images quickly in watercolor. Then he would use his, the best of these colors as the basis for larger paintings, which he, which he could create later in his studio. With this approach, Paul drew over 200 watercolors on the trip to Venice. Whoa, this is a big amount. Paul drew only two of these paintings were used to make finished paintings. One day, Paul got to know a young Dutch artist in Paris who found his method of painting very exciting and adopted the style in his own way. At that time, this young artist was almost completely unknown. Only colleagues and friends were familiar with his work. Nowadays, everyone knows his pictures, even children for he was Vicente van Gogh. Whoa, that's pretty interesting for and Paul Signac Grand Canal in Venice nineteen oh five Toledo Museum of Art Toledo Ohio So this is the picture I talked about or told you about this is an interesting one and it does look like the Grand Canal. But let's see what we have. 
This picture looks like a painted mosaic. Although each dub of paint is separate and bright, it looks very uniform. So this was about our artist Paul Signac. Tomorrow we're going to read about John Singer Sagrant Gent, um, the last artist of this book. Hope you enjoyed about today's artist. See you soon. Bye.